I celebrate my heritage. My curly hair does come from my family, um, primarily on my dad's side. When I was a child, I actually had pretty straight hair. So my curls came in during puberty and I had no idea what was happening because I was going through all these body changes. My hair was changing drastically. When I started to get this texture in my hair, I didn't really know how to style it. My mom didn't have curly hair, so she didn't know how to style it. And so we kind of just kept styling it the way we always had, but then it would just get super frizzy. It didn't look like the other kids' hair. And unfortunately, I was teased a lot when I was young. At the time, I had really long hair. So it was like long and, and frizzy. And a lot of the kids would tease me. They called it witch hair. At first, I tried to learn how to style it curly. I saw a stylist who, who styled it curly, but she styled it with a ton of gel and it was really crunchy and stiff and I just didn't like the way it felt. Then I tried cutting it off. I got it cut really, really short. I really didn't like that either. When it started to grow back, uh, I started to learn how to do a blowout and straighten it. I'm talking about the early 2000s when you know, the hair trends were very much straight, like Rachel Green hair from Friends. I think everybody wanted that hair, including me. And I did that for the next 17 years. When I was in my later 20s, early 30s is when I started to see these stories on Instagram of people who transitioned their hair from many years of straightening. Beauty brainwashing absolutely exists and it's it's prevalent everywhere. And it, I think it's only getting more and more so that way, especially with social media. I think that when you're out there in the world and you're seeing more and more of brainwashing of, of what beauty should be or what should it look like, you just have to be careful to protect yourself. Knowing what I know now, if I could go back, I would tell my younger self that actually, first of all, curly hair is beautiful in all of its forms. That's something that I totally see now that I just didn't see when I was younger. And also, I think a lot of times um, when people are making fun of you, it's probably because you have something that they wish they had or that they don't know much about. And so it's not bad to be unique. It's not bad to have something that's not the norm. And had I spent the time really embracing it and getting to know it, I probably would have found a way to style it that I actually really liked. I think I was just so afraid to, to do anything with it that I, I didn't give it the chance to give myself the chance to really understand and, and know it. It's been kind of this beautiful life lesson for me of when you just let something be and how beautiful that can be in, in its state. That's the other way that I celebrate it is just having fun with it and kind of letting it be this almost abstract art that I get to express and have every day.